everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode we're going to show you how to use an Elgato Stream Deck to fire off your graphics that you have set up in your vMix UTC production. It's actually very simple and it's very straightforward. We'll show you how to do that and so much more on today's episode of One Man Stream. Okay, and it's a very simple layout that we're using for our demonstration today. In the top row, you can see camera one through camera four. And then in the upper right hand corner, we have a button that says match up. And then on the second row, we have a red fighter, a start button icon, then we have a blue fighter, and then we have a couple more graphics we're going to fire off uh, that are solo stats and pre fight. And then on the very bottom row, we have some button set up there to go forward and back in a data source that we have brought in uh, to this production um, through a Excel spreadsheet. This is what the Stream Deck uh, layout uh, that we're using today looks like. And there's the buttons that I was referring to, camera one, two, three, and four. Uh, then here's our matchup graphic, our solo stats, our pre-fight. These are all graphics that we're going to fire off. This is our red fighter and our blue fighter. This is our start round button, which is going to uh, begin a whole lot of automation and we talked about that in another episode that we did uh, it was called introducing automation and uh, you'll see that graphic coming up in the lower right hand corner and uh, if you want more information about how to do this uh, how we um, scripted this particular button uh, that would be the tutorial that I would uh, direct your attention to and then these buttons down here in the last row are forward and back and forward and back these two buttons are for red fighter and these two buttons are for Blue Fighter. This is what it looks like when you first start out. And instead of using the vMix shortcut, I didn't have very much success with that. So what I've done, or, or what I did, is I just drug the hotkey function in each one of these buttons. And you'll see when you press on one of these individual buttons, you can type in a title and then you can also assign it a hotkey. All you have to do is where it says click to assign, you just click on it and then uh, you can click on any button on your keyboard. I'm clicking on the P. Now this key right here in, in the Stream Deck is going to be associated with the uh, hotkey on my keyboard of P. This is what our layout looks like. And let's go ahead and look and see on the camera button. Uh, the camera uh, button, these are uh, a direct cuts uh, right here, and I'll show you that in vMix UTC in just a moment. But uh, I just use F1 through F4 for these. And then for the matchup, what I did is just to keep it simple, I used two rows on the keyboard. I used the uh, row that starts with the letter Z and the row that starts with the letter A. So this one here, um, the matchup, is going to be a solo stats actually I had to change that I had it as at s but this button here I also had it s and s for this was start round so what I did is I changed the solo stat button to uh, L the designation and then on pre fight uh, I use D for that one so on these right here this is where I use the roll of keys that starts with the letter Z uh, for this. So on uh, the, for the red fighter, he's going to be designated Z. And then when we, we want to move forward in that list of uh, red fighters, uh, it's going to be X. And then when we run a, uh, want to move back, it's going to be C. And that's all in the same row. And blue fighter is V. If we want to move forward, that's going to be B. And if we want to move back, it's going to be N. And again, uh, this is a data source, an Excel spreadsheet that we brought in through um, data sources. And it's this uh, sheet right here. And this is how, where we're getting the uh, information and those keys for the red fighter. Uh, if you push forward, it's going to go down in the list. And if you push uh, back, it's going to go up in the list. And then for blue fighter, same thing. We're going to go down in the list by going forward. And we're going to go up in the list by going back. And then the last, uh, this actually has three sheets to this uh, Excel um, spread set that I brought in. And the last one is solo stats. And that's how we're going to get the fighters individual stats. Okay, so now let's go into 
our vmix utc layout and you're going to see here under red fighter let's click on that and it brings up red fighter and you can see red fighter z and that is indeed what it was on our stream deck and then to go forward it was x and to go back or a previous selection it was c so that's all that same row z x c and then let's look for blue fighter when we bring in the blue fighter that's going to be v so we're continuing on that row if we want to go forward in that list that's going to be b and if we want to go back in that list it's going to be n so that's all in the same row to show the matchup that one is a and then to start the round that one is s and uh, here's all the automation i was telling you there's a lot of things going on here in the start round button but uh, like i said that is for another tutorial and uh, that tutorial introducing automation goes into all the detail on how we put this particular button together for pre-fight splash that is designated d for Solo stats, we designated that L because we had already used C. And then for the matchup, that one is A. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go sh go ahead and show you how these fire off. So uh, what you'll have to do uh, with the cameras, because I don't have any uh, camera set up for this uh, demonstration, you're going to have to look right here uh, on the menu bar where I'm showing. And you'll be able to see the cameras change. Camera one, camera two, and camera three. And then this is going to be our matchup graphic right here. We'll click on that. And then that brings in the two fighters. Push it again. It's going to take it away. The solo stats. It's going to bring in the graphics for one individual fighter and then this is what I use uh, normally when the referee is doing his final instructions to the fighters I'll throw this out and that just shows the number of rounds in the bout it shows the two fighters and then it shows the weight class so I'll click it once again and then that one will go away and then let's go ahead and bring the matchup graphic back in and if I click on the red button here, and then I use these two buttons down here, this one's going to take us down in that list. And you can see the red fighter changing. So we'll go back to where we had it. And then if I hit this button right here, this one here is for blue fighter. And it's going to take you, I have it set up, both of those buttons set up to take us to the very first entry in those lists in that Excel spreadsheet. So this one's going to take us down in the list. And then this one is going to take us back up in the list. And I'll push it once again, and it's going to get rid of the graphic. So the last button that we have to show you is the start round button. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that's going to bring in this graphic right here. It's going to show you both fighters and their images. It's also going to give you their names. And then in that middle section, it's going to tell you what round of how many rounds. So it says round two of four. And then it's going to count down. When it gets to two minutes and 45 seconds, or actually 15 minutes into the round, it's going to change to the small round timer. And that's going to count down to zero. And when that counts down to zero, it's going to bring in in the lower left hand corner, it's going to bring in the two fighters and then it's going to show red or blue corresponding to what corner they're in. So we're going to go ahead and move forward so that you don't have to watch a full round. So it's going to count down three, two, one. And then that small bug goes away and then it brings in the two fighters and then what corner uh, they're in. Okay, the one thing that I did want to mention, however, is when you have several different monitors, and on my particular setup I have four, um, you have to make sure that the vMix UTC monitor uh, is the one that's active uh, in order for the Stream Deck keys 
uh, to fire your graphics off from your vmix utc so i make sure that i click on the vmix utc uh, layout on that monitor and then when i push these buttons over here it brings in these graphics like they're supposed to but what I'll do now is I'll go and just click on the vmix setup right here and then when I go back and I hit these buttons you can see I'm pushing the button but nothing's going on so I'm going to come back over to my vmix UTC and just click on that desktop and now when I come back and push the matchup button, uh, since it's the monitor that's uh, active or in focus, uh, then it brings in the matchup as expected. So it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is go into your Stream Deck settings, use the hotkey function, put that in each one of the buttons, and then just assign a keyboard a letter to each one of those individual buttons. Make sure you have those same letters in your vMix uh, UTC uh, setup uh, that you want to utilize. And then make sure that you have your vMix UTC setup uh, active. Then it will function with your Stream Deck and you'll be able to uh, fire off that, those graphics as you would like. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're enjoying uh, this tutorial series. If you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you.